What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. Um, we got a mail call in today, a lot earlier than I thought it was going to come in, which is surprising. Um, from 3000 Toys. Um, this is an awesome order. Um, I was real excited to get this order in. Um, there's going to be a lot of awesome cars in here. At least I think they're awesome. So let's get rolling and uh, start taking a look at these guys. So open the boxes already because I know everything that's coming. So. Let's take a look. This right off the bat is fire that I saw. I said I had to get this. This green light hitch and tow. I don't buy too many of these, but I had to get that Buick Roadmaster. And that's going to be a theme of this unboxing, as you'll see, because I got a few different Buick Roadmasters. I absolutely love this freaking casting. So this trailer is awesome, too. Um, this just looks like an awesome set. They had all of them, but it was the only one I liked. <clears throat> so, like I said, I built up the box for a while. Um, it's it's a game you got to play. At least they let you know when there's a low stock item and how many are left. So you got to balance it to get most cars in there for the shipping and not to lose any, not be able to get them. So I did good this time. I got all the cars I wanted and the ten dollars shipping, which is great. I don't think there's tax either, if I remember right. I can't remember if they have tax or not. I don't think so. But look at that. Isn't that thing beautiful? I can't wait to get that out of there. God, it's gorgeous. The Bambi Custom Airstream. I love Airstream trailers. Absolutely love them. That is such an awesome combo. I saw that. I put that in the cart instantly. All right. Let's go take a look at what else we got here. Well, we might as well stick with the Buick Roadmasters. Man. Got this one. The Hobby shop series i like this series um we got a little vintage gas tank which is cool i don't have any of those but look at the colors on this beauty black with the tan roof convertible 1949 buick roadmaster god that's gonna look awesome out of the package looks really good i had to get it and i don't see these here i don't have a hobby lobby near me i'm not driving that far for a price for over prices anyway the things are way too expensive there i can just get them here i think these were seven bucks and then the shipping standard 10 bucks so it's definitely worth it i'm not wasting my gas driving around oh this is beautiful i can't wait to see that baby so and we got another one Buick Roadmaster Convertible, American Pickers, in this beautiful green color. That interior thing looks absolutely gorgeous. God, that looks awesome. So these two are with the top up. The one, these three are with the top up. And the one I have, the Rain Man one, is the top down. But they're both awesome, so I don't really care. I like it with the top up, too. These are going to be so cool taken out. I can't wait. Gorgeous. These are all going to get displayed together. Really nice. Uh, I guess this tells you about it. Uh, just tells you about the show, I guess. Okay. It was a pretty good show. I used to watch it. It's probably all bullshit. All the stuff they ran into and how it happened. It's probably all set up, but who knows. <clears throat> All right, and we got a 77, 7, 1977 Plymouth Fury, and this is Hazard County. Where does it say it? It says it somewhere on here, too, I thought. Maybe not, but it is Hazard County. It says it right there. So Dukes of Hazard police car. I had to grab that. So I got the tow truck from the green light and the <clears throat> one sheriff car. <clears throat> so that's awesome. Really cool. I can't wait to get that open. Awesome car. Yep. Okay. And I got this beauty. I had to get this one. With the shell livery. Running on empty series. And I love this 39 Chevy panel truck. I have a ton of them. 
So, shell and a 39 Chevy panel truck, I'm not passing that up ever. So, this is a great, I mean, a great addition to the shell collection. Definitely. That's an old shell sticker, which is awesome. I absolutely love this. Really nice. Running an empty series is a great series. All different gasoline. Decoed cars and that. I love it. But I don't think there was anything else in this set I was interested in at all. So I just grabbed this one. Very cool. And this is another beauty. This is one they only had one left of and I snagged one, thankfully. 63 Chevy Impala SS409 convertible. This will go good with the other green light Impalas I got. Barrett Jackson. What a beautiful freaking car. Those wheels. These will go with the low rider Impalas and all that that I have in there. Keep them all together. This is 63. I have about five or six 63s, I think, now. Green light sold for 91300 Very cool. Very beautiful paint job on it. And I love the wheels on it, too. Looks great. Absolutely beautiful. All right. And then I had to get this one, too. I love this casting. The 73 Chevy Chevelle Laguna. Looks awesome in this green. The wheels look awesome. I had to get this one. I think I have... Is this my second variation or third? I don't remember. Ah. I think it's my third the look. I don't know if there was a shell one. I thought there was the shell one and then a hobby exclusive one. I don't know. Not the look. But this is awesome. Vintage Edge series is another great series. What an awesome looking car. Love it. <laughs> so cool. Very nice. Another good one to open up. Okay, now I'll do it for that. Now I got this one. <clears throat> they had this for a good price. It was only 10 bucks. I seen it on some of the eBay sites that I go to for 15, 13. I didn't want to pay that, but 10 bucks I'll pay. This 73 Chevy K5 Blazer looks absolutely awesome. This is an M2. This thing looks really cool. So for 10 bucks, I'll do that. Nice, clean. Awesome K5 Blazer. Beautiful color. Definitely a color you would see with the white top for sure. I love K5 Blazers. Absolutely love them. I had S10 Blazer, but I don't have a K5 Blazer. The back, not much on the back. It's pretty heavy, too. This feels heavy. That's going to be a beauty to open up. I can't wait to open that one up. And we got the Bigfoot truck. Green light. My first monster truck from um, Green Light that I've ever bought, I think. Pretty sure it is. It's a hobby exclusive. Looks awesome. Nice, clean Bigfoot truck. Really nice. Like when it was a monster truck from a regular truck. Like the original monster truck. The original monster truck. 74 Ford F-250. So awesome. So I had to grab that one. I thought it was really cool. I haven't seen... Any other ones that I really liked, so I grabbed this one. That'll be cool, something different. And then next up, I got the um, entire set of the Black Bandit series. Um, There's one car I didn't really care for too much, but I liked all the rest of them, so I bought the set. I already opened it up and looked through it. There was no green machine in it, so which is fine. 
So we'll start off with 71 dots in 510 with ski roof rack. This is a sick looking little casting in black. I really like this little thing. That's going to be cool. I don't have too many Dotsons from Green Light. This might even be my first. I don't know. I have to look. But with that ski rack in all black, I loved it. So I got to grab that one. That's what I said with most of the set. That's why I bought the set. It was cheaper to buy the set. So, Oh, yeah. Look at that Black Bandit and like a ghosting. I didn't even notice that till just now. But we'll take these out and get a good look at them like we always do. Most of the set, but we're going to take a look at the rest of the set. So, this is the one I didn't really care for too much. It's all right, I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't in the set. 60 Volkswagen thing type 181. There's somebody in my town where I work that has one of these in orange. It's all right, it's pretty cool. All in black. The ring looks cool when it's all in black. So, not too bad. This one's really cool, too. This was another one I thought was really awesome. The 88 Ford Taurus Black Bandit Police. That is insane. I got the other Taurus that they had from Robocop. So now I got this one to go with it, which is awesome. I really like that. It is so cool. Wheels look cool. I don't know if the, there's deco on there that it's ghosted too. It looks like there is. Yeah. We'll be able to tell when we take them out. For sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Another winner in that set. For sure. And this is the main reason why I wanted this set is right here. 49 Buick Roadmaster Convertible, like the Ro Rain Man one. Like I said, it'd be the theme of this video is these Roadmasters. I absolutely love them. I'm probably going to buy every single one they come out with. And this Black Bandit series is just sick. I freaking love that. That is done awesome. That is going to look good with the other ones. I can't wait to get these all opened up and put in the case all polished up and they'll look great together. Yeah, black interior. Mm. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Then we got this one, another cool one. 65 Ford Thunderbird Convertible is a casting. I do collect in Hot Wheels. I don't have it in anything else. Um... But this one looks awesome. I didn't get the Thelma and Louise one. I saw a couple in the store, but the wheels were screwed up on both of them. And I didn't really care. If I wanted it, I could have ordered it and put it in this box. But it's not something I'm going to go nuts over. So I like this one, though. Definitely a cool addition to the collection. And a cool part of the set. So Pretty cool. And the final one is another really awesome one that I really wanted to is the Bigfoot Black Bandit Edition 250. I was hoping this was the same as the blue one, but it is not. The tires are much bigger on this one. I wanted them to be the same, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. This isn't the original, I guess. This is just the 74. F-250. The other one says original Monster Truck 74. You can see the tires are much bigger on this Black Bandit one. I would have rather it looked like that with all black. But, nonetheless, it's still freaking awesome. Everything else on it looks the same on the casting. Just the tires. They put bigger tires on it. So... But that's an awesome Black Bandit set. I usually don't buy any sets of any of these, but if I like most of the cars, which is like all of them except for maybe one, I'll buy the set. <clears throat> but that's really cool. So, that'll do it, guys, for this video. Um, thanks again for all the likes and the comments. I think everybody got their packages. I heard from Fern C and... 
I don't think I heard from Steve yet. Or Brian. I don't, know, I don't remember. I gotta look. But everybody should have got their packages by now. So, from the drawing. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again for all the likes and the comments. Take care, guys. And have a great Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Holiday and weekend. Four days off for me. I love it. So, I'll be up at the cabin tomorrow with my son. So, I'm going to do another video tonight and upload it tomorrow. So, I have one for tomorrow. And I'll be coming back Saturday. So, a little break from doing some videos and that, but that's all right. All right, guys. Take care. See you later.